In this video, we'll discuss how a thermal stress study can be used to simulate the thermal loads acting on a cast iron brake rotor. Here we see the stresses acting on the brake rotor as a result of the applied thermal loads. Let's take a step back and review what is required to set up and run this study. We've got a 1 8 symmetry model of the brake rotor. Using symmetry gives us two advantages. First, the model size is reduced, which helps to speed up the solution time. And second, the application of boundary conditions is very straightforward. The first step is to create a new thermal stress study and adjust the unit system used for the model. Next, we can adjust the material. To constrain the model, we'll apply displacement constraints on each surface that interacts with the symmetry plane. The UX displacement will be constrained for the surfaces that lie on the YZ symmetry plane. The UY displacement will be constrained for the surfaces that lie on the XZ symmetry plane. And the UZ displacement will be constrained for the surfaces that lie on the XY symmetry plane. The interior surface of the brake rotor will have an applied temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The large surface of the rotor will have an applied temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature differential will cause stresses to appear in the brake rotor. Finally, we can adjust the mesh size and solve. The smaller mesh allows us to more accurately capture the behavior around the notches in the brake rotor. Now we can toggle through the results, examining the stresses, heat flux, and safety factor. 